Yo ho ho guys, what up? It's your boy Jay, Captain of the Gen Pirate, and I am here once again with another video for you guys. This time we're doing something a little different. We are reviewing the latest chapter of One Piece. One Piece chapter 1066, The Will of Ohara. But before we get into talking about the latest chapter, because I'm literally you know, jumping on the review train in the middle of an arc, I gotta talk about my thoughts overall on Egghead Island as an arc so far, because holy shit, this arc has not missed what the actual fuck has been going on, yo. So first off, Egghead Island just is a interesting ass set piece the cool futuristic technology different sections of the island the fact that it's a winter island with a larger scale version of the island aircon system that was being developed by vegapunk on baltimore and then you know we get to see vegapunk's other bodies lilith shaka you know atlas all of them and all their crazy designs it's just so insane the drip for the new arc outfits and i mean robin and nami's outfits man robin and nami's outfits do i need to say more i mean jesus robin and nami's outfits am i right fellas am i right am i right ladies like yo robin and nami's outfits i ah uh, man we are eating good as one piece fans let me tell you and you know that scene with bonnie y'all you know the one. Oh man eating good eating too good plus the cover story has been hitting we get more developments with the blackbeard pirates and fucking Kuzan. Not to mention, like, the Law vs. Blackbeard stuff. There's so much interesting just pieces moving all throughout this arc. But I don't want to spend the entire time of this review just recapping events. Uh, I just want to talk about, like, overall plot points of the chapter that just really blew me away. Uh, I don't even know where to start, yo. So this is this is just really going to be an off-the-cuff like unscripted conversation that's how i like to do my reviews that's how i used to do them back when i used to cover like you know marvel and dc comics and shit so you know bear with me this is all just free flow stream of consciousness i'm not even gonna edit this shit out but yo for real as a robin fan robin is my favorite character but not my favorite straw hat. Her journey from just this intimidating presence as one of like crocodiles and foresters, you know, a member of Broke Works, to the amazing character journey she had in the Water 7 Any's Lobby arc. Robin has just grown so much. She's earned the right to believe in herself again, to believe in people, to think that she can dream, that she can carry on the legacy of her people. And just to see this moment where Robin's entire journey so far has been vindicated because Vegapunk tells her, look, Robin, you are the final survivor of Ohara. I want you to know that I made sure that I could keep that legacy alive. And that legacy is still alive because it is over in Elbath. Well, there we go, folks. We wanted a reason for us to go to Elbath besides possibly meeting Shanks because, you know, Shanks has all that Viking imagery connected with, uh, you know, his shit. And we know that Elbath is very much 
Norse inspired? Well, now we have another reason. Because Robin will finally get to reconnect with the home that she lost and the people that she lost. And it's going to be such a full circle thing. Because Saul told Robin, one of the last things Saul told Robin was that one day you will find your friends. And then now she gets to go back. Oh my god, am I actually, I'm actually crying, dog. I'm actually crying. Holy shit. And then she says, she gets to finally tell Saul. Well, I did it, Saul. I found my friends. I want to introduce you to my friends. My family. The Straw Hats. And that right there, that alone is why I'm not mad that Saul is dead. Because you know what? Robin needs this W, man. She has lost so much. She has been through so much. To know that Saul is alive so that she can actually let Saul know I found my friends. I found a family. I'm okay now. Like, oh my god. It just, it, it makes me so happy. And the fact that Robin was able to just break down and cry tears of joy. That made me cry tears of joy reading this chapter. Because it's just like, yes, finally, this poor girl gets closure. Oh my god, we are really in the end game here. Robin is finally going to get to close that chapter of her life. It's so good. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Of course, there's big shit with Dragon and finding out more about the, the foundation of the Revolutionary Army. That shit is huge. But I just want to focus on Robin, yo. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see the just... The amount of closure Robin gets. Um, and just thank you, Vegapunk. Thank you for not letting the will of Ohara die in that fire. That moment, honestly, is gonna go right up there with, like, I want to live, man. Like, that hit. That hit. When she just said, thank you, Dr. Vegapunk. I'm just... Ah, Robin is not that type of person, man. And just, just to hear that from her is just, it moved me a lot. I just, I really wanted to talk about this chapter in particular. I, this is why I wanted to kick off my One Piece reviews with this chapter, because it just, it moved me so much emotionally. Also, I gotta say, man, I love the OG, like, actual physical body Vegapunk design. He looks so goofy. It is 100% an Oda character design. It's like this mix of the famous Albert Einstein photo with the apple on his head for like the whole Isaac Newton thing. He definitely looks like your stereotypical like big brain scientist dude. And also like his head is so fucking huge. It's it's crazy. So does that mean he actually was able to split his brain into like six chunks and still have enough brain to function? And like each Vegapunk body literally has like a, a physical chunk of his brain that was used to program them? Like, I, I have so many fucking questions. And of course, you know, I feel like the Straw Heads, you know, they're asking Shaka all these fucking questions afterwards because like, you know, you answered all this shit, but now you open up so many doors. Typical Oda, that's just what you do. But man, was this a phenomenal chapter. I liked it a lot. And I, I just cannot wait to see more. Let me know what you guys thought about the chapter in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get more notifications every time I upload a new video. And who knows, if I get good enough reception for this, I might continue to do these One Piece reviews as a weekly thing. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of that. But until next time, 
I think it's time for me to set sail. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.